Hello everybody, Yosho here with a quick tutorial of how to set up an American Truck Simulator or ETS depending on your flavor, ser dedicated server through G-Portal. Let's dive into it. Just so you know, this is the first release of a dedicated server client from ATS slash ETS. So there's probably gonna be some changes that are gonna be coming down the pipeline as more things become available. This is subject to change, but it works. And nonetheless, we have a dedicated server now. So let's go ahead and get started. Now let's go ahead and log into our gportal.com account. If you don't have one, then go ahead and head to g-portal.com and sign up for a free account. Uh, you don't actually pay for anything until you set up a server and you pay for your monthly or three months or whatever package you decide to go with. So I'm already logged into my server here or my account through G portal. And I'm going to click on rent a server. If we scroll down a little bit, guess what? American truck simulator is sitting right here. I mean, it's not very far down the line being that it starts with an A. If you run ETS, uh, then you'll probably want to scroll down a little bit further, or you can hit up the search box here and look for ETS. So I'm going to click on order now. Now, as you can see, we have three different options here. They're all eight slot servers. That's all that ATS will let you run right now is eight slots. Uh, there is talk of it being increased a little bit later on. Pick the region that you want uh, based on your location, and then you're going to click on order now. All right, so you can go down if you want to, but your max is going to be eight. If you try to set anything other than eight, uh, it is not going to go through and then the server will just reset itself to eight. And here's where you can pick your duration uh, and then you'll see your price up here and then you'll click on continue. From the G portal homepage, we're going to click on my servers and we're going to select one of our game clouds. If you don't, uh, when you, you purchase your server, you'll get one of these game clouds. But if you already have an account and you have some servers running, uh, this right here would be how you would get the server set up. So I have two servers here and if you notice you have this slot in use i have 20 out of 28 slots that i've paid for on this server so therefore i have eight empty slots i edited my game clown and was able to increase it a little bit so we're going to click on add a new server and then we're just going to select our amount of players so i'm looking for eight players on my server and then i'm going to click on add now you'll see that we have ats in our lineup of our servers under this game cloud and we are using all 28 slots. All right, so there's a few things that we have to do on the client side of the game before we can actually run the server. Like I said, this is the first rendition of the server client. So therefore we have to manually export some files. But before we can do that, we need access to the console, which is not on by default. So we're gonna have to actually edit one of our configuration files. So let's open up our file folder. We're gonna go to documents, American Truck Simulator, and as you scroll down, you're gonna see the config.cfg file. We're gonna double click that. Uh, I have mine already set up to open up in Notepad, but it may prompt you with a window saying, hey, what program do you wanna open this with? Notepad is perfectly fine. All right, so we're actually looking for two different lines of code in here. And I found out that it's a lot easier if I just search for it, because as you can see, there's quite a bit going on in here. So we're gonna do control F, and we're just gonna search for two lines here, G console, which as you can see, I already have it typed here. So if I type it here, we're gonna see G console and it's gonna come up with state first, but I'm looking for just the G console uh, line here. This right here by default is going to be zero. So you will change this to a one. And then the other line of code that we are looking for, G underscore developer. And you'll see that right here, it will have a zero in it as well like this and we are just gonna update it to one. When you have that done, say file, save, and now we can close out the file. Now that ATS is up and running, we're gonna select our profile that we want to play with. It doesn't really matter. Uh, if you have mods, uh, this right here is where you would get your mod list set on the server. So we have a handful of mods. We just like to play a little bit more realism. So we're gonna make sure that they're turned on because if they're not turned on, then you're not gonna have your mods on your server. All right, now that you've launched the game, we're gonna hit the tilde key, which is the key right next to the number one to the left side. So we're gonna tap that, and we're actually gonna type in the command of export underscore server underscore packages. Hit enter, give it a second to export those files. 
and it should give us an update whenever it has done that. All right, if you notice there at the bottom in the uh, console, it says server packages exported successfully. So now we can go ahead and exit the game. We hit tilde to get, tilde again to get rid of the, uh, the console. We hit exit game and go ahead and close it out. So now that we've exported the files, we need to go get those files and save them to a location so we can find them a lot easier. And then we're gonna go back to G portal and upload them. So let's open up our file structure again. Let's go to Documents, American Truck Simulator, if you didn't already have this open. We're looking for serverpackages.dat and serverpackages.sii. We're going to shift click on both of these, right click with our mouse, and we're going to copy. We can close this down now. If we go back to our G Portal page, where we have our American Truck Simulator, we're gonna click on the gear, <clears throat> or the rich, I'm sorry, and we're gonna go to our status here you're going to see our ftp information because we have to manually upload these so either one you can do a shared network folder in windows and connect to your ftp access here or if you have a program like filezilla then you can connect to it via this so we're going to type in our host which is our ip address going to type in our username, which we are just going to copy and paste. And we're going to type in our password, followed by our port number. And then we're going to say quick connect. Say OK on the pop up. And you're going to see that you have the whole file structure here. Now, I took those two files and I saved them on a internal drive that I have uh, labeled as E. I created a folder, I called it ATS, and the server packages.dat and server packages.sii are located in those. Now you would navigate to it through the structure through uh, FileZilla, which is a free program. Now that we're connected via FTP, and we have our files on the left-hand side, and then our FTP server on the right, we're going to double click on local, share, American Truck Simulator, and in this folder is where we're gonna put our server package files. So now we're gonna Shift click for both of those, click and drag. Boom, both of those files have now been transferred over to the server. We can now disconnect from this and close all this out. Now coming from our G portal, we're gonna click on basic settings. So here's where we're gonna type in our name of our server. This is what's gonna show up on the server list. I would name it something along the lines of Yosho, dedicated uh, convoy. We have a max. Uh, players of eight, you can set it to where it's friends only. Here's where you would type in your password. So we'll just do five ones for now. Server description, you can type in whatever type of description you want to that'll show up on the server list there. The welcome mes message when people's come in. Then we have this wonderful server token from Steam. So we'll have to go to another website for this. So we'll open up another tab and we'll go to steamcommunity.com forward slash dev forward slash manage game servers. You have to log into your Steam account. Uh, make sure you pay attention to the requirement. So I already have one up and running, but basically uh, to give you an example, we would give it the app ID. So the app ID for ATS is 270880. And then we would give it a name. So that way we know which server we're dealing with here. Here, I'm just gonna call this ATS2 because I already have one listed here. And we're gonna click on create. So now you can see that right here, we have a new login token. And this is the token that we are looking to apply in our server. Now that we're back on the G portal page here for our server, we're going to control V or right click paste to copy the server token. You just go through these settings and set them the way that you like to play. Uh, we like to have the force speed limiter because we like to play a little more realistic. All right, so now that everything is all set up and saved, we can now turn it on. If everything goes well, this should be live. One thing that you can do to check on it is you can click on the logs and you can actually see the running log. So if you see state running time, players zero, so you are good to go. All right, so now that we're back in our game, we've got it launched fully. We're gonna click on convoys, click continue. Then we're gonna click on advanced filters and we have mods selected. So I wanna make sure that I have the mods option checked. And you can also drill this down to just dedicated servers. It makes it a little bit easier to find your server that you're looking for. Gets rid of all the others, you know, local host games that you have. 
So we can type in Yosho here in the search, hit the search bar, and our server should show up on the list. And look, there it is. So from here, you'll see that the server is listed on our list. All of our mods are here and installed, ready to go for the ones that we have running for our server setting. And then we can say, join Convoy. We type in our password. And now we are in a Convoy session. I hope this was helpful in getting your server set up for ATS for you and your friends. Of course, if you have any questions, come hit us up on Twitch. We stream ATS on Monday night from 7 to 10 p.m. Central Time Zone. We'd love to have you. As always, be safe.